Lost Cookies Sam peered into his cookie jar, the empty void a stark contrast to the usual pile of chocolate chip cookies that filled it. The sugary aroma lingered, but the sight of bare ceramic made his heart sink. No way, he muttered, a furrow of disbelief etching across his brow. He patted down his rumpled pajamas as if hoping to find a stray cookie tucked away, but his pockets turned up empty. Time to play detective. His eyes gleamed with a mix of determination and mischief. His small apartment was still as the night, each piece of furniture sitting silently in its place. He scanned the room with a discerning eye. Hmm. A dust-laden armchair, an array of faded family photos lining the walls, an old wooden table groaning under the weight of piled-up books. Nothing seemed out of place. He squatted down next to the cookie jar, studying it with a scrutinizing gaze. His fingers traced over the smooth ceramic surface, stopping abruptly when they brushed against something unusual on the rim. Aha! A triumphant grin spread across his face as he held up a tiny crumb. Carefully picking up the crumb between his thumb and forefinger, he brought it close to his face. He squinted at it under the dim light streaming from the solitary bulb hanging from the ceiling. This ain't no ordinary crumb, he mumbled, squinting harder. It's got fur. His gaze drifted to Mr. Whiskers, his aging cat who was sprawled out on the carpet in front of him. The feline lifted its head lazily at Sam's sudden silence and blinked back at him with indifferent yellow eyes. You wouldn't dare. Sam's tone held an accusing edge as he pointed a finger at Mr. Whiskers. The cat merely flicked its tail and resumed its nap. Well, Mr. Whiskers, Sam stood up, brushing off his knees. I'm not one to point fingers without evidence. His eyes fell on the cookie jar once more. He rolled up his sleeves and looked at the feline with a smirk. And I'm going to get it. His mission was clear now, to catch the cookie thief, even if it turned out to be his own beloved pet. Sam wouldn't rest until he found out who was eating his precious cookies. Sam swept a keen gaze over his surroundings. His fingers drummed on the armrest of his favorite chair, each tap echoing the ticking of the grandfather clock against the silence of the house. The cookie jar sat on the kitchen counter, its porcelain belly empty and bare. Okay, he muttered to himself, pulling on his detective's cap. Time to get to work. He prowled through every room in the house, eyes sharp for any sign of disturbance. Each creaking floorboard, each flicker of shadow held potential clues. But inside, everything seemed normal. No signs of a break-in, no misplaced objects, no crumbs. Unfazed, Sam stepped outside into the yard. The grass shimmered with morning dew, each blade a tiny mirror reflecting the early sun. The air smelled of damp earth and the sweet scent of blooming roses from Mrs. Anderson's garden next door. As he moved towards the old oak tree that had been his fortress during childhood battles and secret club meetings, he spotted something out of place. A small crumb, nearly indistinguishable from the dirt around it, sat nestled at the base of the tree trunk. Sam crouched down, inspecting it closer. The crumb was dry and flaky, undoubtedly from his favorite oatmeal raisin cookies. His heart raced as he followed a trail of similar crumbs around the tree and across his yard. The corners of Sam's mouth twitched upwards into a small smile. The case of the missing cookies had just gotten more interesting. He stood up and dusted off his knees, eyes sparkling with determination. This is just the beginning he murmured to himself as he turned back towards his house, ready to follow this trail wherever it would lead him next. With an eyebrow arched in suspicion, Sam tracked the path of cookie crumbs across his yard. They ended at the foot of a guilty-looking golden retriever, Buster, who wagged his tail nervously. Sam crossed his arms and leveled a stern gaze at his furry companion. Buster, he began, his voice as gruff as gravel underfoot. Have you been swiping my cookies? Buster's eyes darted from Sam to the cookie jar on the counter and back again. His tail ceased its wagging and he whined softly, looking as guilty as a convict caught red-handed. 
With a sigh, Sam uncrossed his arms and scratched Buster behind the ears. Well, I suppose I can't stay mad at you. Just promise me you won't do it again. Buster gave an affirmative bark and licked Sam's hand in apology. It was clear the dog felt remorse for his cookie theft. In a surprising turn of events, Buster trotted over to the pantry and nosed open the door. He pawed at a bag of flour and a jar of sugar before looking back at Sam with an expectant look. You want to bake cookies? Sam asked, taken aback. Buster wagged his tail so hard his whole body wiggled with it. With an incredulous laugh, Sam fetched an apron and set to work helping Buster prepare a fresh batch of cookies. They worked together in harmony, Sam mixing ingredients while Buster fetched utensils and kept him company. The sweet scent of baking cookies soon filled the air, a warm aroma that promised comfort and satisfaction. Buster sat by the oven, watching eagerly as each tray of cookies baked to golden perfection. As Sam pulled out the final tray of cookies, he couldn't help but smile at Buster. Despite the misadventure of missing cookies, he found himself grateful for the company and assistance his dog provided. He reached down and ruffled Buster's fur affectionately. All right, Buster, he said, a soft smile tugging at his lips. You're off the hook. But next time, let's bake cookies together instead of you swiping them from the jar, deal? Buster barked in agreement, his tail wagging in delight as Sam set a cookie down for him. The golden retriever took it gently and devoured it with gusto. His tail thumped happily against the floor, a clear sign of his satisfaction. And so, their cookie caper ended not with anger or punishment, but with shared laughter and the delicious taste of freshly baked cookies. Sam couldn't help but shake his head in amusement. Who knew that a detective's toughest case would involve his own dog and a jar of missing cookies?